I make these three-dimensional installations with kind of a dark, subversive edge. My inspirations are mostly 18th century decoration, wallpaper, very opulent, very ornate. But then I use figurines and flea market trinkets to tell my stories. My sources of narrative often come from fairy tales. It's kind of balancing on a knife edge, right on the edge of kitsch, but not crossing over. And it allows the viewer to come into the piece a little bit more and try and figure out what's going on. We use wallpaper to reflect on an ideal and sort of idyllic version of domesticity, but mine is a little bit darker. And then I juxtapose all these found objects and the stories just write themselves. Porcelain is really the perfect material because porcelain suggests both the high and the low end of the spectrum, so it's perfect for me and what I do. So I created these really opulent, very twisted mirrors based on Lolita. When you get in close, you think, well, is this little girl in the gazebo, is she taking a nap or has she expired? I don't really try to be subversive. It just happens when you're in the studio at, in the wee hours. You're surrounded by these smiling figurines on a tiny scale and you've got a scalpel in your hand and you're trimming them. I like things that are immersive. I like things that you can walk into and that transport you to another world. The dark humor just kind of seeps into my work and it, it, there's just nothing you can do about it. it. It's not planned, it just sort of happens. <laughs>